Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to talk about top 10 fantasy anime where the overpowered main character goes to a magic school. So if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and if you are new, don't forget to subscribe. Now without any further delay let's begin. Number 10. Quanjay Fashi. The aloof high schooler Mo Fan has found himself in a universe similar yet distinctly different from his own mundane one. It's a place where magic has replaced the essence of science. Here, the most capable students are taught to master the wonders of spellworking to fend off large devastating beasts that lurk in the forests surrounding the city. Like his previous life, Mo Fan remains the son of a poor laborer and the older stepbrother to a crippled sister. Despite these disadvantages, he dreams of attending a magic school to become a magician, a highly respected and lucrative trade, in order to repay his father for his hard work. Mo Fan is accepted into a renowned magic institution. However, rumors spread about his poverty and lack of magical ability, labeling him as the laughingstock of the school. Nonetheless, but also the rare lightning element. Now armed with dual abilities, what dangerous encounters will the versatile mage face? Number 9. Holy Night. The story centers around a timid orphan named Mizumura Shinta who goes to a missionary school in Tokyo. His seemingly normal life changes when a beautiful half-human Romanian girl named Lilith suddenly transfers into his school. Mizumura discovers that he is actually a vampire hunter and the successor of the Romuald lineage. Strikers, let's get started! We stand here as the Swords of Salvation! Hey, check out the new guy, he's- Number 8. Seiken Tsukai No World Break takes place at Akane Private Academy where students who possess memories of their previous lives are being trained to use ancestral arts so that they can serve as defenders against monsters, called metaphysical, who randomly attack. Known as saviors, the students are broken up into two categories. The Kirigane who are able to use their prana to summon offensive weapons and the Kiroma who are able to use magic. The story begins six months prior to the major climax of the series during the opening ceremonies on the first day of the school year. After the ceremony is over, the main character, Marula, meets a girl named Setsuki who reveals that she was little sister in a past life where Maroha was a heroic prince capable of slaying entire armies with his sword skills. Eventually reveals that she also knew Maroha in an entirely different past life where he was a dark lord capable of using destructive magic but saved her from a life of slavery. Number 7. When supernatural battles became commonplace. During a literature club meeting, the four club members, along with their faculty advisor's niece, suddenly find themselves with supernatural powers. Now capable of fabricating black flames, resident Cheninibu Jurai is the most ecstatic about their new abilities. Unfortunately, his own is only for show and unable to accomplish anything of substance. Moreover, he is completely outclassed by those around him. Fellow club member Tomoyo manipulates time, Jure's childhood friend Hatoko wields control over the five elements, club president Sayumi can repair both inanimate objects and living things, and their advisor's niece Jifuyu is able to create objects out of thin air. However, while the mystery of why they received these powers looms overhead, very little has changed for the literature club. The everyday lives of these five superpowered students continue on, albeit now tinged with the supernatural. Number 5. Absolute Duo. Individuals who can materialize weapons from their soul are called Blazers, and they attend Koryu Academy High School in order to harness their abilities. Each student is required to partner with another in the hopes that one day the pair can attain the power of Absolute Duo. 
Toro hopes to attend this academy in order to gain power after his sister and friends were slain by a mysterious man. However, at the opening ceremony, he is forced to duel against the person sitting next to him, with the loser being expelled. As Torin prepares to give the match his all, it is not a weapon that manifests from his soul, but a shield, an irregularity which catches the attention of a foreign student named Julie Sigtuna. Number 4. Undefeated Bahamut Chronicle Lux, a former prince of an empire named Arcadia that was overthrown via a rebellion five years earlier, accidentally trespasses in a female dormitory's bathing area, sees the kingdom's new princess Lyshart naked, incurring her wrath. Lyshart then challenges Lux to a drag ride duel. Drag rides are ancient armored mechanical weapons that have been excavated from ruins all around the world. Lux used to be called the strongest drag knight, but now he's known as the undefeated weakest drag knight because he will absolutely not attack in battle. After his duel with Lyshart, Lux ends up attending the female-only academy that trains royals to be drag knights. Number 3. The Asterisk War In the previous century, an unprecedented disaster known as the Inversia drastically reformed the world. The powers of existing nations declined significantly, paving the way for a conglomerate called the Integrated Empire Foundation to assume control. But more importantly, the Inversia led to the emergence of a new species of humans who are born with phenomenal physical capabilities, the Genestella. Its elite are hand-picked across the globe to attend the top six schools, and they duel amongst themselves in entertainment battles called Festas. Ayendo is a scholarship transfer student at the prestigious academy, which has recently been suffering from declining performances. Through a series of events, he accidentally sees the popular Witch of Resplendent Flames, Julie's, half-dressed. Enraged, Julie's challenges him to a duel for intruding on her privacy. After said duel is voided by the student council president, Ayendo reveals that he has no interest in Festas. Number 2. Magical Warfare The world as we know is actually just half the story, as Takeshi finds out abruptly one summer morning. On his way to kendo practice, Takeshi comes across an unconscious girl in a uniform he doesn't recognize. Take she does the decent thing and saves her, and in return the girl wakes up and accidentally turns him into a magic user. As Take she finds out, there is the world he lives in and the world of magic users. Most magic users just want to peacefully coexist with non-magicians, but there are some with bigger ambitions. Mui Eba is a magician enrolled in the Subaru Magic Academy, where magic users can learn to control and channel their powers and how to live in peace with regular humans. After his fateful encounter with Mui, Takeshi, and his newly magician friends Kirimi and Kazumi decide to enroll in the Magic Academy as well. All three friends have different reasons for fighting on, whether they're fighting to escape the past or catch up to the future. And they say the story goes back a thousand years. Let's say you met the little demon from the story. How would you react? What would you do? Number 1. Blue Exorcist Humans and demons are two sides of the same coin, as are Isaiah and Jehenna, their respective worlds. The only way to travel between the realms is by the means of possession, like in ghost stories. However, Satan, the ruler of Jehenna, cannot find a suitable host to possess and therefore, remains imprisoned in his world. In a desperate attempt to conquer Isaiah, he sends his son instead, intending for him to eventually grow into a vessel capable of possession by the demon king. Blue Exorcist follows Rin who appears to be an ordinary, somewhat troublesome teenager that is until one day he is ambushed by demons. His world turns upside down when he discovers that he is in fact the very son of Satan and that his demon father wishes for him to return so they can conquer together. Not wanting to join the king of Jehenna, 
Rin decides to begin training to become an exorcist so that he can fight to defend a sire alongside his brother Yukio. That's it for today's video, I hope you like it and please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe the channel if you are new remember to hit the notification button for any more upcoming videos.